Well, I've got a need for power. Power distribution, that is. You know, with all the modern technology today, with the VHF, the depth sounders, the GPS, the AIS, and the list just goes on, your boat may not have a big enough panel to handle everything. So you wind up hooking things to the battery, and that's just kind of a mess. So I went to Paneltronics, and look at this, state-of-the-art panel. Now I went through a few other steps that I'll go through on how I chose this particular panel. But they come with LED backlights uh, so that you can see what breaker handles what you've hooked onto it. On the, re on the back side where you're going to hook all your appliances and electronics up to, of course there's the breakers, there's the neutral, and if your boat's equipped with a bonding system, there's the green bus bar for that. Plus I have a new battery switch that goes with that. Again, everything on the back. It's really easy to install this. And we're going to do that today and take a look at how easy it is to upgrade your DC distribution panel. Well, the first thing I did was make a list of everything and check the manuals for the amps. Next, I went to the Paneltronics website to choose the panel. Here they make it really easy to get just what you need by being able to customize the panel. Right down to each breaker's amps. And labels. Simply type in what label you want and you get a list of choices. The panel comes pre-wired and ready to hook up your electronics and DC appliances. Now when removing the old panel, be sure to cut the power off and label everything and do a little cleanup. You can also download a wire diagram for all of the panels from Paneltronics, but I still like to check with the experts. All right guys, I'm getting ready to install the new DC panel from Paneltronics. You know I'm not a professional. So we have Ed, the service manager at the Sailing Emporium, gonna give us a few tips on how to get this thing installed properly. All right Ed, let's start with the new switch. What am I gonna do with this? Okay, you got your, uh, your new battery switch here. Uh, it's got the battery switch, the selector switch, uh, which you got off. Uh, one and two. One will be your uh, your engine battery. Number two will be your uh, house bank, and then all, of course, will tie all the batteries together. And then the main breaker here. This breaker here is what supplies power to the panel. Okay. All right. To get that wired up, all you will do is uh, bring your uh, your positive wire from the battery number one into here. Battery number two into here. These wires here are just for the light. Uh, the light here on the front of the panel will show you when it when the main breakers when that light will be energized So all you will do is hook that hook the positive up over here on the positive side of the breaker The negative you'll just bring a negative in from the uh, from your batteries from your ba uh, your uh, grounding bar on the uh, uh, Breaker uh, panel and we'll go to there the wire here. This will supply power to the panel So you'll probably want to use either number four or six gauge wire to come from here and that supplies power to the new panel. Okay? Now where do I put the black wire from the batteries? That will hook up directly on the uh, on the new panel, on the bus bar, on the panel for the ground, ground side. And I also connected a wire from each of the cables to the line voltage gauge on the main panel. Well, safety first. Be sure the power is off to the panel before you begin wiring up your electronics and other items. 
Now the positive wire from, on your electronics is connected to the front of the breaker. This red wire is for the amber um, indication light on the front of the panel. Then the negative is attached to the negative bus bar. And then just repeat this process for all your items. Now my batteries are cleaned up and safer. Having a state-of-the-art and safe panel is easy with Paneltronics. Now I have a little stain and varnish work to do, but this looks great and works great.